What's going on, beautiful people? Machiavelli Mills TV. And I'm here to tell you all why the world hates Karl Malone. Why a lot of people hate and despise Karl Malone so much, a lot of people may not be privy to the story of Mr. Malone. Now, Mr. Malone was a fantastic NBA player, was the second all-time leading scorer in NBA history for a while until LeBron James just eclipsed, eclipsed Kareem Abdul-Jabbar as the all-time leading scorer. So now Karl Malone is the third all-time leading scorer in, in NBA history. Um, one of the oldest guys to ever win league MVP. Did what he was did, played great at a high level for a lengthy time, right? Utah Jazz legend. But a lot of people really don't like Carl. So when it was announced that Carl would be judging the NBA's dunk contest this weekend, a lot of people was looking like, hell no, F that dude. Because again, it was in Utah, it was in uh Utah. So people want to see a jazz, a jazz legend. They ain't gonna have uh, John Stockton, unfortunately, they're gonna have Carl Malone. And people are looking like, for one, what the hell does Carl Malone... I'm looking like this, too. What do Carl Malone know about dunking like that for real? That little behind-the-hand dunk, that dunk weak as hell. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like that little, that's a trash dunk. I don't, it's never been nice. It's never been sexy. It's never been exciting. That, that dunk trash. But nonetheless, a lot of people were upset that Carl Malone was, dunking, was judging the dunk contest because he's a terrible human being. He's not a good person at all. And I know... People can change. People can grow. I hope Carl's heart has changed. But Carl was a horrible, a horrible human being for a long time. Now, if you don't know the story, when Carl Malone was playing at Louisiana Tech, he was 20 years old. He impregnated a, a child, a baby. The girl was 13 years old. Now, she might have been 13 when she had the baby and maybe 12 when the baby was conceived. I don't know. But because I'm hearing mixed, she was 12, I, 13. I was, I'm hearing mixed answers regarding that question so it may be she was 12 when the baby was conceived and 13 when she gave birth to the baby nonetheless the baby the, the child the, uh nonetheless the girl was 13 years old when she had uh Carl Malone's child right so we looking at Carl like what the hell were you doing as a college kid messing with a little baby who's not even out of elementary school what the hell is wrong with you having sex and having a relationship a sexual relationship with a little child that's sickening that's disgusting Carl, what the hell were you doing with your grown ass? Why weren't you out here trying to mess with college women? Or at least a woman that's a little bit in, like a little, a, a, late, a late high schooler or something like that. Why are you not trying to mess with women around your age range? What's going, you want to mess with a baby, a girl that's not even a woman for real? Like, come on, man. Like, so people look at it as sickening. What makes it even worse is that once the baby was born, Carl Malone refused to have anything to do with the child at all in any type of capacity. Dismissed the child, did not want nothing to do with the child. So the young woman ended up growing up. I'm sure her and her family grew up and raised a young man. The young man eventually became an NFL player. Played in the NFL for about five or six years. And I remember they said when he got older, Carl Malone told the, told the, uh, told the young man when they met when, or when they talked or whatever, basically it's too late for me to be a father to you. It's way, it's way too late now. You're going to have to make it on your own and find your own way. It's too, it's too late for me to be a father. I said, what is, that is a, boy, Carl is a piece of shit, boy. How could you, and when, again, when the paternity of the child was found, when it was found that he was the father for sure, he still denied the child, didn't want to have anything to do with the baby. That's some, that is some trash ass shit right there. How could you look at your seed and say, I'm not going to be in my child life. I'm not going to be there for my baby. I'm going to turn my back on my child, you know? And then I remember when it first came out, you know, that Demetrius Bell, Demetrius Bell is the young man's name. When it first came out, Carl talking about some, I hope he's not looking to get money from me. Really? Brother, you owe that young brother for all the years you left and was not there or refused to be there. And you, first of all, you took his mama's innocence. Made her a mama before she was even supposed to be even thinking about children. Right? And of course, you... A baby can't consent to sex like that when they're 13 years old. She don't know. She's being groomed. She's being, you know, uh, she's probably in, enamored with the fact that this college basketball star is so infatuated with her. She's losing her mind. And she don't know. She's a baby. So I, I'm not faulting the, the mother in this situation. She's a baby getting getting um, groomed and getting charmed by a grown-ass dude, a grown-ass man in college. So it's not her fault, but I'm looking like Carl. 
You owe that man. You owe that young man for being absent and then refusing to be or refusing to be a parent or father to him at all. But wait, there's more. So Carl is not, this is not the only time that Carl has done some slime ball shit like this, right? He's not, this is not the only time he's been a sleazy individual. Now he was a, it was a woman that he was dating in high school, right? He was dating her. She was a basketball star as well, right? Carl had a relationship with this woman, got her pregnant. She gave birth to twins. Carl denied paternity, didn't, didn't want anything to do with the children. Didn't speak to the kids, didn't come see them, didn't do nothing for the kids at all, right? And I remember um, when the story came out, Carl was basically, they he found out through a DNA test they were his children when they were small babies, when they were small children. And Carl still didn't want to be around them. He still refused to be in their life, didn't want nothing to do with them. He just wanted to be a father to the children, to his wife's kids, to the, kid, the children that he had with his wife. I think her name is Kay, Kay Malone. He only wanted to be the father to her children, not to the other kids that he birthed. Yes, he conceived. Those were, Kay's children were his children, but he only wanted to be a father to the children he made with his wife, not to the kids that came before her or kids. He didn't want to have no, nothing to do with them. And I said, that is some disgusting shit, man. Carl is a, a nasty person. And I remember he only started to, he only acknowledged those kids that he had with the other young lady, the twins, when Cheryl Ford, his daughter, one of the twins, went, uh, became a WNBA player, a great WNBA player, and her career was blossoming. Then Carl eventually came into her life and accepted that they were his children and admitted it, so on and so forth. And then Carl still didn't want no blame for the shit that he did. He still felt like he really didn't do that much wrong. I forgot the exact quote. But he was acting like, you know, there's nothing wrong in what happened as long as he come back in their in they life now. was nothing wrong. Brother, what the fuck? Yes, it was, bro. Yes, it was. You were denying them, even though you knew those were your children. He's a foul person. And then what made it worse is that when the league found out, the WNBA, when they found out she was Carl Malone's daughter, she looks just like Carl, too. Um, when they found out she was Carl Malone's daughter, they began to rom romanticize the story. As if this was like a great father and daughter story, them getting reconnected. And no, Carl was a terrible human being. Carl was a shitty person, a horrific, a horrible person. He didn't want nothing to do with them kids when he knew they were his until she got to the WNBA. And I guess, I don't know, it made Carl look good. Then he acknowledged him. But he still to this day refused to acknowledge Demetrius Bell, the son that came from the 13 year old baby. He refuses to, the, to acknowledge Demetrius Bell, you know, and then. Because everybody like, why he didn't go to jail? He didn't go to jail because the parents didn't press charges against Carl because they wanted Carl to still have a career to take care of the child that he uh, conceived with their daughter. They still wanted him to be able to have a career to provide for the child that he made with their baby. So they didn't tell. You know what I mean? And you can say that about, you can say whatever about that if you want. You can say they should have went to the police and all this and all that. Because I damn sure would have went to, to the, I would have went to the police for sure. You ain't going to be violating my baby and essentially grooming my baby. You ain't going to go to jail. I don't give a fuck who you are. But then, I don't know. <sighs> yeah, I would have went to the police for sure. But they wanted Carl to still be able to make money to take care of the child that he made with their with they baby or whatever. Um, but yeah, man, people. a lot of people are just now hearing this. Nobody, a lot of people don't know this. And the reason why is not because people don't report about it often. Because people... It's been widely reported for years. The thing is that Carl is a really reclusive individual. He stay in the woods. I don't know, chopping chopping lumber like Paul Bunyan, whatever the fuck Carl Malone do in his personal time. He stay in the woods being a lumberjack, being a true countryman, staying away in and stay in the back roads, away from society, away from civilization, you know, all the way in the boondock somewhere. And he never comes out. He's never at NBA events. He's never around in these big high profile situations. He's never around for the uh, top 75 greatest players to ever play the game stuff. He don't be around for that type of stuff. He stays to himself in his own little circle, in his own little square away from the world. But if Carl Malone was a person who was out and about, who liked to be on the scene, who liked to pop his head out and shake hands and kiss babies, all for sure, this story would definitely be more known. It would definitely be something that would be discussed on a regular basis. But because Carl is really around, People rarely bring up what he did because they don't have the chance and opportunity to because Carl don't really pop his head out that much, right? So now he back out. He's back on. He's back out on the scene 
at the dunk contest, you damn right. People gonna talk about the story and bring it up as they should because like, like man, listen, people like it's in his past. Man, Carl, Carl did a lot of sleaze ball shit. The man even fought to pay child support while he was while he was making an NBA superstar salary. He fought so he didn't have to pay child child support to the children that he fathered and refused to be in their life. Carl fought against paying child support for his babies. The ones he refused to claim, even though they were biologically his. That shit is disgusting, man. How can you be, how can you be making all of that money and say, this money just for my kids that I made for my with my wife? Not for my kids that I made before her. Not for the kids I made before her. The kids I made before her, they don't get shit. They don't deserve nothing. They don't deserve to carry my last name. They don't deserve my they don't deserve my acknowledgement. They don't deserve my presence. But oh, the kids I made with my wife, oh yeah. Them, them kids, they deserve the world. So Carl up here in pictures, kissing his babies. They did a special on Carl, I remember, when they were talking about him being a, uh, a parent and all of that, making him look like father of the year, not knowing he had three biological children that he was out here neglecting and just refusing to acknowledge completely. Didn't want to acknowledge their existence. I remember Cheryl Ford was like, she was at a game calling his name, calling his name. He refused to look up at her and all of that. Did not want nothing to do with her. Until she became a WNBA superstar, man, that shit is clowned out. And who's to say Carl Malone didn't do this to a lot of other women? He he possibly did. Ain't no telling he you you don't know if he did this some other times. You know, because making a baby with children, you know, that's one thing with women, different women, a lot of different women, that's one thing. But refusing to claim the children you made, you made with these women, that's vile, especially when you know for a fact they're biologically yours because DNA tests were administered. For these kids, man. Like, it's just, man, Carl is a despicable human being. And a lot of people don't know it because we don't really get the chance to talk about it on a regular because Carl stays hidden. Stays away from all the talk, from all the NBA fans, from anything NBA related, unless it's in Utah. That's when he come around. You know, but I don't even know where the hell Carl Malone live at. But anyway, man, Machiavelli Mills TV, y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Video in the comment section below. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'm out. Peace.